What's up everybody, this is Titan, Titans of CNC, and the journey continues. So guess what, we're gonna cut a lot of chips today, but I wanna give you a little bit of rundown on where exactly we are in the process, all right? So as many of you guys know, we just got this A81NX from Makino, this beast of a machine on a floor a couple weeks ago. We tooled it up with this awesome Shunk Tombstone, and then we actually took the Rota S Flex 550 Shock and actually installed it. And then we took a 150 pound 6L4B titanium beast piece of material, put that bad boy in there, and then we started cutting some titanium chips. So all the variables coming together to teach the art of machining on a high level. All right, so let's talk about the next process, all right? So you can see now that a lot of material has been removed. We've got some big steps, right? Because we took a big cutter. Like, that's what you want to do in manufacturing. You want to look at a piece. You want to take a big cutter. You want to cut as much material away as possible before you come with a smaller cutter to do more intricate work, all right? So this was the big cutter, the Harvey Ultra 8X from Kenametal. Three hours of cutting and all the inserts are still good because it's a workhorse. And not only are the inserts still good, but you have eight cutting surfaces. So these guys last forever, all right? So but now that we've dropped a huge amount of material, now we're gonna go to this cutter right here. This is the Kenametal Harvey 3, the TJDE. It's a Harvey 3, but it's got chip splitters in it to actually break up the chips into small pieces and it is a beast. A lot of you guys know already, the Harvey 3 won the Boeing Challenge as the king of all end mills in titanium, and that is why we're using it. So we're gonna take this guy, we're gonna drop down and start cutting the titanium and stepping up. Once we finish with one level, we'll drop to another level, start stepping it up. When we're finished, you're gonna see the part take shape. And from that point on, it's gonna get a lot easier, all right? We're gonna do a lot of surfacing, some pockets, some O-rings to bring this part complete. All right, so I got Mastercam open and I actually just programmed our next tool, which is the TJDE Harvey 3. So let me just explain what I did to program this tool. So I took the last program, I copied it, I pasted it, and then I just changed some of the parameters, okay? So let me just point a few of them out, all right? First, I'm gonna drop this guy down. I'm gonna go into parameters. I'm gonna bring up my OptiRough tool path, and then I'm gonna hit tool right here, and I'm gonna show you that my surface foot is about 400, all right? I usually run this tool anywhere from 300 to 600 surface foot. In this particular video, because it's a beast part, there's a lot of material coming off, I'm actually gonna run it at 400 surface foot, all right? And I know you guys are banking this information, so I wanna make sure that you guys are successful in your own shops, okay? So we're gonna go 400 surface foot, which brings our spindle speed to 2,037 revolutions per minute, and our feed per tooth is gonna be at 0 .0043. All right, you can go all the way up into the mid fives and you can go down depending on your cut, but this is a safe number, 0 0.0043, which puts our feed rate at 52 inches per minute, okay? Now, going down to our cut parameters, I put an 8% step over, okay? 10% is good. 10% is ideal when you're going full depth with a small radial with this tool. But again, since I had so much material, we're filming it, all of it, I just put it at 8%, which gives me a 60,000 step over. Looking at the thickness of my part, I simply divided it by three, and I actually went 1.7 deep. So the tool is gonna basically drop down 1.7, it's gonna cut, boom, boom, go around, and then it's gonna step up 75 thousandths each time all the way around, just bringing and shaping the part Boom, let's go cut some chips. This is gonna be amazing.
man, it's looking good. It's looking good. So check out all the 3D steps. Like, it looks super sick. We're gonna go down another level. We're just gonna start walking all the way up. Check it out, though. So we just finished with phase two. Now check this out. Our runtime is at an hour and 31 minutes. So basically 90, 91 minutes, all right? So that's time in cut. And you can hear the Harvey 3 end mill. Just bop, like no problem whatsoever. It's not fluctuating in sound. 90 minutes in cut, and it still sounds like it did at the very beginning. Which is good, because we got a little ways to go, all right? But check out the part. Oh man, look at that, look at that. So now you can just see it just taking shape. Like it's absolutely beautiful. Later on, we're gonna come back with a ball mill and we're gonna surface it so it's just beautiful, right? But I actually like it like this with all the different steps and stuff, just stunning. On the last tool, we had big chips. This tool, because of the chip management, meaning the chip splitters and just the design of it. Look at that, they're nice and tiny. These little chips. Oh, they're so gentle. It's like Bob Ross, like, oh, they're little happy chips. And again, I'll say the only reason that we have chips down here is because I'm not using all of the flood coolant, the top coolant. I'm leaving everything off because of filming purposes. So once we're done, we'll go ahead and remove some of the chips so it doesn't all go down at once. And then we'll flush it out, clean up the machine, and we'll be good. All right?
looks absolutely beautiful. That roughing past the Opti rough from Master Cam, like, it's so perfect. Look at it. It's like got all the ribs and stuff, all the steps. It's like it came out of the movie Aliens or something. So now you can see the part taking shape, all right? And now we're getting to the fun part. Now it's about the details, all right? So the big contours, everything's roughed out but the pockets aren't finished. So I'm gonna go in with a Harvey TE and I'm actually gonna go in and ramp into these pockets and rough each one of these guys out to prepare it for the 3D surfacing with the ball end mill. I also am gonna take a nice big one and a quarter inch drill, pop right through the center. Then we're gonna bring the Harvey in and we're gonna rough that bad boy out. And then we're gonna start finishing everything complete. So we're going to do all that in the next video, so please stay tuned. If you haven't subscribed yet to this channel, hit that subscribe button because we're going to continue to teach all aspects of machining on a very high level. If you like the video, hit the like button. If you have a question or you want to see something, put it in the comments below. And you might see it in a future video.